Hi everyone and welcome back to Two Minute Teas with TP. I'm Teresa Pun and here I continue to drink water instead of tea today for my Singing Insect Venom series. I wanted to talk a bit about venom immunotherapy. This is the treatment, the goal that we strive for when we see patients with a likely history of anaphylaxis to a Singing Insect Venom followed by positives on skin testing and or specific IgE blood work to a specific Singing Insect Venom. The goal of venom immunotherapy is to take that patient's risk of a future systemic reaction from approximately 50% to less than 5%. As a comparison, the risk of a systemic reaction in the general population is estimated at around 3 or less than 3%. So with this treatment, the goal is again to move a patient's risk from quite high 50% to a risk that is similar to that seen in the general population. Again, a general population that does not require skin testing or an EpiPen. There are various protocols out there to initiate venom immunotherapy. The goal is to take you from a very, very tiny dose all the way up to a higher maintenance dose. Once you reach the maintenance dose, the goal is to continue at that level for about three or five years for the average patient. There are some special exceptions. So if a patient has a history of systemic mastocytosis, or if the patient had a what we call a near fatal anaphylactic episode, which means not only did the episode that they had to a real life stinging insect venom meet the criteria for anaphylaxis, but the patient almost died from it. For those two patient populations, lifelong venom immunotherapy at the maintenance dose once a month is recommended. During the treatment, of course, all these patients will still be carrying two EpiPens on them at all times. And again, for some patients who continue on, they may need an EpiPen lifelong. Thank you, and I hope this helps.